Teresa Keith is the mother of a student who died at the Chamawa Indian School, a federally operated Native American boarding school. She had one of the biggest hearts that anybody could think of. Keith says valuable time was lost because the school assumed her daughter's medical emergency was a student fight. It was some kind of heart failure. She says the school gave her no information. Instead, she got it from public records. Lawmakers say they've been stonewalled too, getting no answers from Tamawa about the deaths of four students in recent years and a long list of other problems. Oregon representatives Kurt Schrader and Suzanne Bonamici even went to the school. And tried to investigate locally. We're told we couldn't ask any questions. We're very concerned that the students do not seem to be getting the support they need to be successful in school. And that means having a safe campus. Parents and former employees say the Salem, Oregon school is in total crisis. There are additional concerns about the treatment of special education students and about financial mismanagement. But Mark Cruz from the Bureau of Indian Affairs says they're taking steps to address the problems at Chamawa and other schools. To be more responsive. Lawmakers wanted to question school representatives from Chamawa directly, but Cruz said they couldn't attend the hearing because it was a school day. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.